Welcome back, folks. Here with the meteorologist Catherine Schwamm on this Monday morning. Oh boy, Catherine, the snow out and about this morning. We enjoyed it on Saturday yeah. night for sure. We are out there tracking the conditions on the roads. It is still out there, guys. It is still. Yeah, big. but this morning the roads. The roads are definitely nice. way better than they yeah. were Saturday night and into Sunday morning. So I would say that morning commute. Still looking at some green lights, some secondary roads, so it could still have some slick spots. Let's take a look at our Horseheads High School Sky Camp. Look at that blanket of snow there. That's how much snow we saw pretty much over this weekend, blanketing the Twin Tiers in this nice, beautiful winter time. Beautiful. I will say that. I'm not a fan of the snow. I like it. I like it. It looks pretty out there. Temperatures right now, though, starting off in those upper 20s, lower 30s to kick off your Monday morning. We're looking at some calm conditions today. These temperatures will be rising into the mid and upper 30s by the afternoon hours, and we'll be looking at a mix of sun and clouds, mainly cloud cover, but some limited sunshine. This morning, you're starting off with a few just passing by snow showers across portions of the Twin Tiers. Most of these will end by the mid-morning hours and we'll be left with a dry day ahead. Looking at our setup, though, of our surface analysis, this is going into Monday afternoon. High pressure has been building over us and actually will begin to weaken as we go into this afternoon and evening, and that's due to our next system approaching from the mid and west. So we're going to continue with the dry trends into Monday night. You'll notice some increase in clouds as the system approaches. Still looking dry at 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. Again, I'm not anticipating anything to worry about for that morning commute. It's that evening commute. We could see the potential for some hazardous conditions out on the roadways as the system moves in. Let's take a closer look. Starting off at 6 a.m. Tuesday, I mentioned morning commute, not too much to worry about until about 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. We start to see some snow showers entering the Twin Tiers. This does pick up into 11 a.m. Tuesday morning. By about lunchtime and into the early parts of the afternoon, though, you'll notice it's changing over to rain showers. So you're going to see a sloshy mix of rain and snow showers Tuesday afternoon. This quickly does change over to some heavy rain showers by 4 p.m. Tuesday afternoon as temperatures rise through the 30s into those mid 40s. We're continuing to see those temperatures rising into 8 p.m. Tuesday night with some heavy rain showers on the way. This is going to continue overnight Tuesday night where we're looking at high temperatures right around midnight. We'll see temperatures still in the 40s. Few of us even toppling over that 50 degree mark very early Wednesday morning. Temperatures, though, will be cooling down on the backside of the system with a few lingering snow showers possible. But not only are we going to be seeing temperatures on the rise, that will likely melt a lot of the snowpack we saw from over the weekend. We're looking at the possibility of a flood watch with those heavy rain showers we're anticipating Tuesday afternoon. So we do have a flood watch in effect for Tioga County of Pennsylvania as well as Bradford County of Pennsylvania. This starts Tuesday afternoon goes until Wednesday afternoon. Not only are we going to see a lot of precipitation with the system, we're also going to see the system accompanied with some gusty winds. And we're not talking about 25, 30. We're talking 30, 40, even 50 plus mile per hour winds. Tuesday afternoon especially, we could see wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour, especially in those higher terrains into Tuesday evening as well. These gusty winds likely continue Tuesday night before we see them starting to die down as we go into Wednesday as the system exits out of the region. But with those gusty winds will come a wind advisory that starts Tuesday afternoon and goes until Wednesday morning for much of the Twin Tiers. With an exception of Yates County, you guys are in a high wind watch Tuesday afternoon and until Tuesday night for wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour at times. The calm before the storm today, sun and clouds cool, temperatures sitting at 39 will be in the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Rain snow makes Tuesday followed by lingering snow showers Wednesday. We'll see some drier conditions Thursday with a high of 40. Another system though on the way later in the day Friday with the rain and snow showers returning. This is going to continue into the start of your weekend. Temperatures 10 degrees above average in the mid 40s. We're cooling down to 30 degrees Sunday with some lingering snow showers possible.